Studio Art Designs has been silent and on my last Design Diaries episode I basically started again with a portfolio site. I'm currently working on building it but secondly I'm working also on passion projects and one of the passion projects that I mentioned a few vlogs ago is that I was working with Hani Nakur and he's a photographer, I can call him a model and honestly his pictures are really good and really nice so I've been already seeing some pictures like weeks before like uh, when I discovered him on YouTube one of his visual diaries and I was really excited to start working on his pictures because the way he captures pictures is just exactly what I needed for poster or magazine designs that I always saw or inspired me so I really wanted to try his project out so now he sent me a bunch of pictures and I'm currently working on them and I will show you guys the time lapse I hope you guys will enjoy it I know it's gonna be a longer vlog than usual but I really want to show the process of how I designed it but my first step as usual is working on a mood board, creating a mood board, which I also shared with him to see if he kind of liked the vibe. Send me the pictures and then I started. And I tried to keep it as simple as possible. His imagery is also very simple but classy. It's just, I have no words, I have no words. But he really creates good stuff. So if you're watching this, honey, thank you for letting me, allowing me to use your pictures. I really like it. I hope we can collab more in the future. And honestly, collabing with other creators is something I really want to do this year. And it's cool to see that this is my first collab, or can you call it a collab? I don't know. But it's great working with him. And I'm gonna post them on my Instagram soon. I'm thinking about maybe creating a similar video like the Levy project that I posted on Instagram and TikTok and everything. And then also post them as singles on my Behance design platforms and Instagram too. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably show you guys some visual that I created and um, enjoy the process.
kit lens and compared to my other lens that I always use, this lens is literally so small and so cute. But today I'm gonna go out with my mom a little bit and we're going to go somewhere, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna take bring along my small camera, just capture some moments. And other than that, I'm dressed up, fully dressed up. And uh, it's nice weather today. It's supposed to be 24 degrees, which is pretty high for this time in the uh, Netherlands. So uh, I'm just gonna have a good time, just relax, chill, and especially spend some time with my sister and my mom and just uh, enjoy the moment. These are just little ones, so my mom is gonna try one. She wanted to take one earlier, and she wants to already open it before. I told her to eat it. Thank you. That one, and now we're gonna be on the classroom. You already open it. Hey, Is it nice? Soft. Okay, so we're gonna try it. Not too sugary. Up. Not bad at all. I like it. Mm -hmm. Then I got a drink. I'm gonna try this one out too. Okay, so I'm in a thrift store and I'm trying some clothes. And this is a denim jacket I got. I pretty much like the like thick of it. It's pretty cropped. It's not here. It's here. It sits pretty nice. Just checking. Maybe I'll get it actually. This would be nice with like. It's nice, it's nice. Like, this is a blouse. I like it. It's not ugly. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure about it. This. Yeah. I am going to take out my hair because it is old, so uh, let's do that.
patient's out until they have to work again. So we're going to a park location. So I brought my camera equipment just in case to get some test shots in. So I know how I can shoot the shot when I'm there and I'm going to shoot on the location. But first, because it's Friday, I need to eat something and then we're going to head to work. Do some work, close early and then do my stuff. about the AI voices you know voice actors the way they do their stuff and the way they talk in like people hear them in ads campaigns for brands and everything so there's this shop that we normally buy groceries from and everything and they always has this particular voice so now what I'm seeing is that they basically changed the voice that always said it with an AI voice and the way how they did it is by combining like 10 voices for people that work in the store to create an AI voice of that and they created their own voice so they can always use the voice it doesn't matter when or where so as a creative I'm looking at this like these voice actors and maybe in the next one or let's give it six months if more brands are going to start doing it think about Nike maybe just different brands are going to start doing this then basically we can say that in the next maybe one or two years voice actors will be gone and if they can even implement this in the film industry or in other industries, we don't need voice actors anymore. People are just going to be doing this themselves. So it's actually crazy how AI is actually slowly creeping in the creative industry. And I'm kind of worried about this because I also saw this thing about, I was listening to the podcast of the Diary of the CEO, and there's apparently this AI that can create video based a bit like ChatGPT where you give what they what your input and it creates a video from that and the videos look super realistic so I'm like where is the border of being it being it being real and it being fake it's gonna fade so quickly because this is already in the making let's give it two years it's gonna be like ChatGPT I use ChatGPT with my graphic design stuff and everything but I'm worried about people that have jobs I'm worried about photographers I'm worried about videographers I'm worried about people that create films, I'm worried about actors, I'm even worried for my job because who knows, maybe in the next two, three, five years, I don't know, there will be someone that can design an AI tool where people or clients will just go to. So it's kind of weird to see how the whole industry is changing because AI started getting popular the moment I started with doing my internship and already from then I already used it so much more but it's crazy to see how far it has gone. It's really crazy. Oh my god. Same with like the thing mid journey. It's just crazy how you can actually create real life campaign visuals for it. And it looks like a real image. So I'm so worried about the authenticity, about photographers, people that take pictures, people that take videos. Their job is just gonna be replaced by, an, by a bot. Uh, which steals from basically everything that's on the internet. I don't know, where is gonna be the border? What are gonna be the rules? That's just my worries and maybe I'm yapping, but as creative, this is a serious issue that is going on. Yeah, so, honestly I don't have a lot planned this weekend. But maybe I'll go out with my sister and we'll see. I also kinda also wanna go to the cinema because Dune is out. 
Um, there are other movies that I watch, want to watch. Anyone but you. It's also have my watch list. I kind of want to watch that one too. What again? Color Purple. I wanted to watch that too. There's so many things I want to watch. Anime Watch, you know what I'm talking about when I'm saying hi to you, but volleyball, I really want to play that. And they have this thing with uh, here in the city that we have like a tournament for with different companies. So I hope my mom or sister can film some shots when I'm playing. But I wanted to register, but I forgot to write my name on the list. So I just sent a message. But I really want to play. I really want to participate in like sports because I really miss it. I mean, basically, I really like sports. It's really nice. So next vlog, you guys will probably see me playing volleyball. This this angle, the way the lighting is today, is just it makes me want to talk to the camera. Enough yapping for me. I'm gonna chill. Probably watching stuff with my sister and my mom. Watch a movie. Uh, game. I realize that I don't even show my games, the game that I'm playing anymore on this on the Design Diaries episode. But that's also because I lately have not been gaming that much because I have just been editing. I kind of switched. I like watching and just editing now instead of gaming. So, but for now, I'm gonna showcase my uh, game skills again. So we're gonna play some Vilo later, and we're gonna play some other games. Uh, maybe Genshin. Maybe who knows? And there's a new game coming out, Wuthering Waves. So I'm excited for that too. But that's releasing in May. So no yapping for me. I'm gonna chill. The lighting just looks good here in the angle. So I kind of really want to talk to the camera. Going out with my sister, just a quick day out, I guess. It's nice weather, so I thought, you know what, let's go out before it gets busy. And then by the afternoon, we'll be home and just chill. Money guys, I would buy this. I would buy this. I would buy this. Oh, it's a little cool. This is well at first. Can the echo to it? No, it's gonna net, but it's well fat. Couple cool. Deep plants of from the store and I finally found Past Lives the CD and I've been looking for these for like ever since I already came to the, show, the movie and I watched it already if you watched some of the Lion Diaries ago but this I finally have it and I think this is one of the best movies I've ever watched in terms of like cinematic cinema cinema cinematography and shots and storytelling wise this is just a great movie so if you ever look for a good movie Past Lives is the one. Watch it. Why is it not focusing on the CD? Focus. Yeah. Very good. Watch it. Let's try the donut. 
kind of evil my ring. I have this weird thing I always pull my rings if I'm eating with my hands. And uh, it's just disgusting. Uh, and anyway, let's try it. I make some mistakes. Oh, it has to fill in. Oh. This is nice. This is actually good. And I always do this thing when I'm eating like sugar. I dilute it down with like tea. Thank you. 